So it's so important that you do those things every single day that you build positive momentum, positive momentum, and then you can share your presence with everyone else. Now, does that all make sense to you guys? Now, is that something you think you can do when you leave this room, right? Something you can do when you leave this room to make the people around you better. It's, it's actually tangible things, tangible activities that you can do to make the people around you better. And that's really what I want to share with you guys. So that's, that's all great. But what happens now when an ideal isn't met? So imagine you have a cup. Again, you have a cup and your ideal isn't met. Something negative happens to you. What would happen in an idea of, with an analogy of a bank account? Something negative happens, what, what do you do with the money? You take it out, right? You got to spend it. So when a negative, when, when negative stimulus happens, we want to reframe. So imagine you take one out. You take one, el one um, element of confidence out of your cup, and that's adversity. So you lose confidence when something negative happens to you. So now we have to figure out a way not to lose it from the bottom and not to lose it from the top. So we want to reframe. All right, Everyone following along, look at the part where it says reframe. Reframe. It's a, one of the most challenging activities you can possibly do as a human being. One of the most challenging habits you can cultivate is the ability to reframe. Again, the idea of discipline, doing what you know is right, even though something else that's easier is tempting you. Stimulus comes in. The core belief system, it's just filter. Imagine a filter. A stimulus comes in through this filter. Um, I look at a red shirt, and I'd say, wow, I like that red shirt. And someone could be next to me and say, I don't care for red shirts. I don't wear red shirts. It's their perception, right? It's the same stimulus, but the perception goes through this core belief system. Core belief system is just this conditioned filter. Now, when a stimulus comes in that doesn't meet your ideal, you have a negative thought. We can't change that. Right? Over time, you can change your core belief system and allow you to evolve and change. But initially, stimulus comes in, doesn't reach our ideal, negative thought. What we need to do is not allow that negative thought to cause a negative feeling. All right? We want to be able to reframe. And there's three ways. Three ways to reframe. We use this acronym, R. A-R-E. Accept is A. All right? Reflect is R. And explain is E. So we use the, uh, the acronym and the analogy that reframes are important. So the ability to reframe, um, the reframing is important. So we turn that verb into the plural, are. All right, reframes are important. So when um, there's a scenario, a scenario like the weather, it's foggy. I'm trying to drive this morning to mud. All right, I'm staying less than two blocks away at the Wingate, and it's foggy. That's a scenario. Nothing I did, nothing Jason did who brought me down here, um, nothing that Mud Advertising did caused that fog. It's out of my control, it's out of your control. So I had some negative uh, thoughts. I'm like, I can't find this place. I'm looking all over the place. There's mud signs over here. There's all kinds of huge buildings. But I can only see about four feet in front of me. And so it's a negative thought. I can't control that. So what I had to do is reframe. I said, listen, I need to embrace this situation. And I need to take advantage of it. So what did I do? I called Jason, and I found my spot. Now imagine if you wanted to golf. You guys all golfers? Raise your hand if you're a golfer. What if it's raining? You have a tea time. It's Chris, right? All right. Chris has a tea time, 8 in the morning. And he's excited. He's going out with a foursome with four, three of his best friends. I only play in the afternoon. All right. <laughs> so it's raining in the afternoon. And he cannot get on the golf course. That's a negative thought. He was looking forward to it. He's planning. He's looking forward to it. And it's raining. That's a negative thought. All right? What he can do, he can't change the fact that it's raining, right? But you can embrace it. You can say, listen, I don't have to water my lawn this afternoon because it's raining. All right? So I'm going to use the time tomorrow that I was going to be watering my, my garden to go golfing because it's, it's already rained. I don't need to use that time right now. So it's just a way, it's a, it's a funny way that you can embrace and take advantage of a scenario that you can't control. And you can apply that to a lot of great things in, in your daily life. Uh, the next letter is R, reflect. So when you do something, you do something that creates a negative thought, we want to reflect on it. Uh, like in the ad man, we talk about taking time to reflect, um, taking your own personal time to reflect and recharge. You can figure out what you're doing well during that time, what you're not doing well. Reflect. 
You want to identify the behavior. You want to learn, adapt in the short term. That's changing in, in the short term. And then evolve, create new habits in the long term. So that's the idea of reflecting. And finally, explaining. When someone else uh, says something to you that causes you negative thoughts, like you get maybe criticism from a coach, or you get criticism from your boss or a peer, you get criticism, it's your filter. Again, remember, these words are going through your core belief system. That criticism could be intended as a positive. It could be maybe a motivating factor, like coaches maybe ride a player extra hard that they think can take it and can handle that adversity and they can handle the, the negativity from the team. They ride them extra hard and they're on them because they know he can handle it. Now your core belief system says, I don't like getting screamed at in front of my, my, my teammates or maybe I don't like getting criticized uh, because it makes me feel insecure. So what I want to do is I want to find out what that person's motivation is. I want to understand Ask why, one of the great characteristics of a leader, right, is seeking to ask questions, all right? Asking questions. Seek first to understand before seeking to be understood. Again, Stephen Covey. Um, ask questions. Why did I get this criticism? Why was I told that I need to produce these numbers? Um, so ask why. Why is such an important question. So seek first to understand. Understand that motivation. So we have, again, reframing. The ability to turn a negative into a positive. A is accepting, R is reflecting, and E is explaining. Those are the three uh, characteristics of a healthy reframe.